this becomes the focal point of our life in the winter. It's almost like having a big, enormous bear in the house or something. Because <laughs> this, this thing is so huge and warm, you know? So it really is a presence. The joy of having this beautiful, alive thing in the house in the winter. And the reason that burning wood is important to me is I like that heat source. You get that thing roaring and uh, <laughs> put your hands over it and you've got heat, you know, you've got real heat, you've got radiant heat that's just is, is consistent and steady and uh, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, at least, you know, an oil burner doesn't deliver that kind of heat. I didn't start actually heating with wood, you know, seriously dealing with wood and splitting and all that until we moved in here about 15 years ago. And um, it's been really, it's a lot of hard work. My father ran a hunting and fishing camp up in northern Franklin County, and the whole place ran on wood, everything. Cooked on wood, heated on wood, so we cut a lot of wood up there. A lot of wood. That was it. That was my start. And, and, and both in cutting and splitting and and stacking wood. Yeah. yeah. Actually, the person who taught me is my partner Ruth, <laughs> because she grew up in rural New Hampshire, and so they heated exclusively with wood, and she would stack wood with her dad. And his rule was: you have to stack it so. A mouse can run through between the logs, but not the cat that's chasing it, which is a pretty cool rule. You know, aesthetics are a big deal in this stuff, right? I mean, it's, it's having a pleasant wood pile. I mean, one, not just not just one that works, but also one that you kind of say, oh, I kind of like looking at that, right? The idea is just to, to have the piles with, where the air can circulate, where there's some heat. I'm pretty careful when I cut my wood. I use 16-inch wood, and I, I stick to it. I don't let them get gommy, you know, and sticking out the ends and stuff like that. So I, I cut pretty carefully. If our woodcutter comes, he comes probably once every other year. He'll trim trees around in the forest for us that we think we want, you know, that are looking old or something. And he'll buck it up. And ideally, we would split it within a month. So we'll make a wood circle, and it might have up to, it might have up to two years of wood in it. And then um, at the end of the season, when the woodshed is empty, we'll take from the circle and move it into the woodshed and just kind of try to transition things from the pile of unsplit, bucked up wood into the circle and then into the woodshed. Of course, the main thing about splitting is choosing the wood on the stump that you think is going to split most easily. Because if you have really straight stuff, you know, without a lot of knots and lumps and turns and, and curves in it, then it lies flat and so you get, a, you get a nice neat pile. That's sort of the way I think about it from, you know, from stump to pile. 